Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking, and today I come to show you my quick, easy, delicious deep dish peach and dumpling cobbler. Let's get started. So in this bowl right here, I have three cups of flour. This is three cups of self-rising flour. You can use all purpose. It really will work. The only difference is you don't have to add any baking powder or baking soda, okay? Then I have a cup of uh, buttermilk, which I'm going to use a cup and a half. And then I have a half a cup of um, butter-flavored Crisco, but you can use the white Crisco. And then I have extra flour. So what we're going to do in this bowl, I'm not going to spread it out and knead it. I'm going to make it right here. Because these are going to be drop dumplings, okay? We're going to make them tight enough. And then we're going to go in and we're going to drop these in some salted water. And it's already on the stove coming to a ball. So the first thing we want to do is add our half cup of butter. Crisco butter, okay? Crisco butter. Crisco butter. But you can use regular Crisco as well. Half. The next ingredient, once we start to work this in, is that we're going to add the buttermilk, okay? Just take your hands, they're your hands, and work that in real good. Remember, this is three cups of flour to half a cup of Crisco, whether you use butter flavor or not, okay? This is room temperature, so I didn't need to kneel it or anything. The next thing is I'm going to add this one cup of buttermilk, starting off. Just one cup. You really want these tight. You do not want these to be really that loose. The tighter the better. Because we want them to be a little dense, okay? So I'm going to add like half a cup more of buttermilk. So it's one and a half cups of buttermilk. All right. Very easy. One and a half cups. These are the cutest cups. They have the measurements on the inside and they look like an owl. They have the measurements on the inside. See? Half a cup. Just cute as can be. I'm going to work this in. Get it real stiff. I want you to see what I'm doing. I want it stiff. I'm going to shake a little bit more flour on there. Can you see? I want these stiff. Very stiff, and I'm going to shake a little more flour on there. Work them real good. And then once I work them real good, I'm going to use my hand. And I'm just going to make these dumplings with my hand. I'm not going to roll them out of anything. I'm just going to make them with my hand. I'm going to fold them in this bowl. You don't have to roll them out. You don't have to do any of that. So the next steps we're going to do is once we get this just like we want it, we're going to come in here and we're going to drop them in some water and let them start rising for us. See you in just a second. Next, we're going to drop these dumplings into some boiling water. And this is, this is about the size that I use. I roll my dumplings. They're very small. I press it down because these are going to be kind of doughy a little bit, like a biscuit a little bit. So I make them small because what is going to happen is when you bite into that peach cobbler, you just won't have a feeling of crust on the outside, but you'll have that ooey gooey feeling of a of a, a biscuit on the inside. Okay. So I'm dropping, I guess, tiny, tiny, mini, mini, mini little biscuits is what I'm doing. Okay. Don't worry, make sure you get your water to a boil. These are not ready, but see, they're going to be like that, and they're going to have a little puff on the inside. So here is the outcome of the dumplings that would be in the peach cobbler. Okay, they turned out good. You'll know, you'll feel, and they should stay together. So now let's put this whole thing together. So I've melted one and a half sticks of butter. To this container, I have one and a half cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, and I have one and a half teaspoons 
of baking soda. I'm sorry, baking powder. And so I mixed it together real good. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder, okay? I'm going to set that to the side. In this bowl, I have added 29 ounces of peaches and another can had 15 ounces. So I've added a big and a small can of peaches, okay? Then to this peach, because it's deep dish. I don't know if you all have this, but I use this because we carry it in my area. So I use, I'm going to use two, along with the peach juice, I'm going to use two cups of that. And I'm going to pour it in here. Just like that. Now what I plan on doing is tasting as I go to see what I need. Now, these peaches are delicious and they are sweet. This helps sweeten them even more. So now I'm going to start adding my spices. Um, I'm going to try for the first time Chef Carmen's um, peach cobbler seasoning. And I'm going to see how that's going to work for me. Yeah. And I'm going to stir with another spoon. And see. Now that was just one teaspoon. And it should have the nutmeg in it and cinnamon. But if not, I'm going to add extra nutmeg and cinnamon that I have sitting to the side. Now, do not add your dumplings until you get your seasoning right, okay? Do not add your dumplings until you get your seasoning just like you like it. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm going to add some nutmeg, just regular nutmeg, and I'm going to add some cinnamon. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of nutmeg and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And remember I used a teaspoon of Chef Carmen's and I'm going to see how that works together because I really need to taste and smell my flavors. Um, I like my peach cobbler to taste like something. Okay, now I'm going to add just a little brown sugar. This is half a cup of brown sugar, and I'm going to crumble it in there. Half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to stir it real good. Now I'm going to begin to fold my dumplings into my mixture, just like that. I'm going to fold them just like that. Next, I'm going to um, take and pour the flour mixture that I made into the one and a half cups. Make sure you stir it real good. The one and a half sticks of butter to the one and a half cups. A flour mixture that I told you which was one and a half cups of flour one and a half cups of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder now I'm gonna take my mixture and I'm gonna pour it over in here but do not mix do not mix okay so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pour it into my deep dish Do not mix anything. Okay. What will happen is the crust is going to rise up over it and the dumplings are going to float. So when we come back, I'm using a deep dish cast iron skillet. You use whatever you got. As long as it's deep, I'm going to put it in the oven. The oven is set for 350. And when we come back, we'll see the end results. Thank you. Here is the outcome of that deep dish. Ooh, it's hot. Let me put my gloves on. But this is the outcome of that great deep dish peach dumpling cobbler. Peach dumpling cobbler. And y'all gotta try this. And let me know what you think, huh? Mm -mm. Let's dig into it real quick. Ooh, listen to that crust. Let's get us a good scoop out. And this is a cobbler. 
Look at those dumplings. Will you look at those dumplings? Oh my goodness. Will you look at all of this goodness? Look at it. Thank you all for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Until next time, y'all better go try it. You're going to like it. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your food.